Intellectual property for software is computer code or software protected by law under either a copyright, trademark, trade secret, or software patent. When you treat your software as intellectual property, you have more control over who gets to use it and how it gets to the public. Otherwise, people might use it without permission, and you'll lose the chance to get paid when people use your software. Intellectual property, IP, is a piece of work that isn't a tangible object. IP usually comes from creativity and could be a manuscript, a formula, a song, or software. Under the law, copyrights, trademarks, trade secrets, and patents protect IP. The Copyright Act, 17 U.S.C., calls computer programs literary works. A copyright grants you specific rights in terms of your software. When you hold the copyright to software code, you can make copies of your software code, sell or give away the code, make a derivative work, which is a second software that uses a lot of the original code, post the code somewhere, or otherwise display it. You need a patent to protect the process, like the function of software, including systems, functions, and solutions of computer programs. Utility protects what the software does. Design protects any decorative part of your software. You can protect your software as a trade secret. A trade secret is information you or your company has that other people don't have. You use this information in business, and it gives you a leg up over your competition. You have to take reasonable measures to keep the software a secret, including keep the software away from the public, have employees sign non-disclosure agreements, have employees sign non-compete agreements, do exit interviews with employees who are leaving to make sure they aren't bringing IP with them. As soon as an employee quits or is fired, take away all their file and data access. Investigate any suspicious employee activity. Keep IP data stored in compartments and only give access to employees who need it. Also keep in mind when you patent software, it has to meet lots of USPTO and legal criteria. That's why not all software qualifies for a patent. The most important include, your software has to be useful or have a specific application. It has to be new. It has to have an inventive step that is not obvious to people in the field.